All right, guys, here we are back on iRacing for a little IndyCar at the Talladega Super Speedway. This is Class C fixed. A terrible idea. No good ideas were had setting this race up. Uh, we managed to qualify second. Don't know how that happened. I uh, have no idea what the strategy is here. I've done some IndyCar Super Speedway racing, so I know in theory what you're supposed to do. But in terms of fuel and stuff, we just have to wait and see. So we're going to uh, jump on the grid here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the race. Alright guys, it is just about race time here. Talladega, 40 laps here in the Indy cars. Oh boy. So the plan is uh, be alive at the end of the race. Be with the lead pack. And you never know what could happen. Um, yeah, I might want to set up my pit stops now actually. I don't think we're going to need tires. And yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just do it like that. So yeah, um, I'm a bit nervous about this one. This race did not split, so we have all 24 runners in this one race. Uh, and I am the number four car, which means I stand to lose a lot. There is a, there's a chance that this is going to go badly for me. So it's going to take it nice and easy here. Of course, if you're uh, unfamiliar with how iRacing works with the iRating system, it assigns the uh, number based on who has the highest iRating. So Matt Halaba right there number one he has the highest i rating in this race therefore he has the best chance to lose i rating because basically it weighs it based on uh your i rating compared to others and how you finish so i'm a bit nervous right now <laughs> maybe you can tell since i'm babbling so we're gonna try not to die here today got this big old wang in front of me uh blocking my view you know it's cool to have reality and you know be a proper sim but I just don't like how it looks. So Matt got the drop on me there, but that's okay in IndyCar. Because you really don't want to pull out too far. Because uh, I imagine this is going to be like other IndyCar races I've run, where if you get out too far, they're just going to draft right past you. See if uh, Nacho wants to go to the lead end. He does. Chris behind me is eager to get there as well. We're just going to lay low for a minute here in the early going. No need to fight too hard. You can see just the run you get when you're behind somebody. My goodness, the suck. So we're going to go to the outside here. Let's take our time. Plenty of room on this track. Bide our time. And be really careful though, because you do get super good runs when you're in the draft. And they just about killed it behind me. My goodness. Easy guys, it's 40. What are the odds that this race goes green? Like the way through is on the outside right now as uh, we're just dropping back on the inside at the moment. Don't want to let too many cars get in front of me. So we got one in the wall out there ahead of me. I can't help but look. So they go three wide pushing up into the wall. Apparently this track isn't wide enough. Power our way through about four deep here. Woo! That's what I like to see. I racers a big fan of going four wide on lap three. We got the run of the century, but we're just gonna back out of it. No need to take that through right there. My goodness, you can fire like a rocket ship if you come from a few cars back. We will bear that in mind if we uh, make it to the end of the race. T did take a little contact there. Uh, the guy behind me just straight up didn't lift. And I did because I was really catching the leader, so okay. It's what it is. And the 
field's really starting to bunch up behind us now. That makes me nervous. But, you know, there's something to be said about being ahead of everything. We might look to try and get there if we get a chance. I'm gonna protect that bottom. Don't want anybody pushing me free wide down there. I'm just gonna have to clear this guy on the outside. If we're gonna have a chance to uh, get to the lead. Unless the guy in the lead exposes the inside, but he's been blocking the bottom. Uh, rightfully so. There's the first yellow. Can't see it behind me, but I'm sure they all died. <laughs> Alright, a good first sequence there. A uh, little, little tap from behind and a couple close calls ahead of me, but uh, other than that, we are all good to go. And, uh, Jesus, we almost died right there. That was uh, very, very close. Alright, well, I'll see you when we get back to green. Alright guys, we're getting ready to go back to green here. Uh, man, caution laps are not fun around here. 2 minutes 28. That was a bit brutal. Uh, makes me want to fall asleep, but... Anyway, we had a couple pitters. Um, I think it's a little bit early for my fuel calculations, but again, I've, I'm not 100% sure, so... Like, probably the last 7 or 8 cars came into pit. All the leaders stayed out, so... Uh, we ride again. Coming up to lap 10. The guy behind me is very antsy. Hope he doesn't run into me. Green flag, green flag. Had to lift there. The guy in front just didn't go. The guy behind me ended up getting caught napping. And somebody just flew past people on the outside. Made up a ton of spots right there, Stefan Harding. A regular in the Indy car. Just gonna force our way to the inside here. He's gonna cut my nose, so I gotta jump on the brakes. He kinda left the inside exposed there, a bit lackadaisical. I was gonna go for it if he gave it. As I'm uh, starting to think maybe being in the front's gonna be a good idea. We won't force anything, but we'll look to make passes where possible. God, these things are just crazy quick at closing down the car in front. I mean, I'm like halfway off it, halfway down the straight. I'm gonna have to get to the outside, I feel, if I'm gonna make a move somewhere. The leader's just uh, holding that yellow line, and it's tough to make that move on the inside. Just ever so slightly concerned if this thing goes green that those guys that pitted might be able to make it. Um, we'll see, though. <laughs> Not too sure this is going to go green. are definitely getting dicey here. So I really like to clear myself off on the outside in front of this guy. Take a bold move. See, we just have to lift so much and he gets so much back. Middle of the straightaway. As 
that blocking for the lead? I love it. Guy behind me is getting right up on my tail. And they're dead. Alright, well. I think it's going to be a good time to pit. And, uh... We're not too happy in the old chat there, so, uh... <laughs> It's unfortunate, but we'll go ahead and come in and take our gas now. I think we'll just about make it if we pit here. Again, I have a uh... yeah. It 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 should be okay. He says with full confidence. We're gonna go ahead and pit, and I'll see you on the restart. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go green here again. It's gonna be lap 17 of 40. Uh, devastatingly slow pace laps, but. Uh... <laughs> This is a very interesting situation because we did come down and pit. Should be good on fuel now. I probably have too much in the tank to be honest. But interestingly enough, um, a couple people from the back stayed out too. In fact, uh, number 21 and number 22. This is an interesting situation because these guys are now coming from the back. I don't know if they pitted at that first caution. Uh, they gained a lot of track position, but you know they've been running at the back and now they're at the front so that is a big change that could result in death Get ready, going in terms green. of the people who came in we did come out second though so we gained a couple spots there and uh, i don't know if this guy daniel knows what he's doing there on the inside but he's gonna get penalized if he passes his win the pace car is in gonna defend the outside here Green flag, green flag. Yeah, I saw Steph, what Stefan did last time. I'm not going to let him have it that easily. Inside, inside. Inside. We're going to have to go three. Oh, he's going to defend me on the outside there. I don't know if he's running wide on purpose. I'm going to push Stefan down to the bottom. So we got one shooting it three wide on the outside. Absolutely crazy move out there, and he's gonna go three wide all the way near the top. Just stuck in the middle at the moment. Just hold a line. Alright, I accept it. I go to the bottom. God, that guy's running on the apron behind us. He's gonna kill everybody. Uh, they're three deep for the lead there. There is a wall, and will we make it four? Come on, Stefan, I know you want it. Oh, God, now we're three wide, two rows deep. I'm just going to hug the bottom and pray. This lane won't come good off the corner, so... Just have to hang, hang tough. I would say they're definitely still there. Yeah, I'm learning a lot. Don't be on the bottom if there's cars on the outside because you got nowhere to go. Only real hope is that he slips up and gives the inside and I can sneak it down on the bottom. We're still three deep here. Oh god, leader almost hit the apron. I jumped off the gas there. Oh man, that inside lane's very bumpy. Still three wide. I do not like this, but I don't really have anywhere to go. Could force a move off the track on the inside. Definitely had the run to do it with. This guy's got a Fortnite skin in front of me. Oh man, I gotta go off the track to try and pass him. And if he just slips up a little bit off the corner, I can send one. Just need like, oh boy, 
All right, well, you just decided not to lift. That's cool. You just run into the back of me. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. See ya. Stefan, you gotta lift. Oh, boy. Well, I took out quite a few runners. And, uh, yeah, we survived yet another uh, fracas there. And I will see you in several minutes. Uh, interestingly enough, quite a few guys pit under that caution. Um, from what I can tell, I'm well good on fuel. So I am not really concerned about it. Uh, just gonna look to not get trapped on the inside again. I mean, I didn't die down there, but like, it's not good. <laughs> Because I uh, didn't have anywhere to go. No way to get forward. So yeah, we're going to do what we can here. Uh, hopefully we run green to the end. I think it would be fun. But it's not likely now, is it? Alright. Let's get a crack in here. Green flag, green flag. Alright, there's the green. The inside is inviting me. Good jump there on Ryan. We're just gonna take it right past him. Somebody's already saying sorry. That's never a good sign. I'll work the outside now. See if we can't pull this thing off. On the outside's tough. Oh boy, you got a big ol' run on me. Alright, I guess we're going three wide. Alright, he backed out. He's almost in the fence out there. Oh god, what just happened? Gonna look to the inside, Fortnite's gonna cut us off. Ah, I tried to stick my nose in. It's a risky proposition. Just gotta stay alive. This boy's pushing me three wide. It's not in my heart to lay back, but it may have to happen. We are clear all around. Big run, here it comes. And they're going wheel to wheel there on the outside. We're gonna take a huge run to the outside as well. Three wide for the lead. Can they make it four? Just about. We're marooned now on the outside. I have to lay back and try and get a run. Clear on the inside now. Sweep back down to the bottom. Stefan's looking to get his nose in. We're not going to let it happen. I really don't know what Fortnite guy has got, because he's just been holding the bottom the entire race. Well, commentator's curse, I guess. Alright, getting down to it here. Hope nobody runs me over from behind, because I'm having to lift a lot. Alright, as long as we hang with them. The lead pack in a clean car, we can win this thing. God, they're gonna kill it. Just 
Gotta look for the gap to open up. It's just more cars getting dragged into this fight. It's just gonna be more spots we have to make up if they get past us. Although I believe as long as we're there with a couple laps left. Try sixth. Okay, no sixth. Ah, I could add a look there. I had a good run. We got 10. We got about 10 cars in front of us. And look at this. Look at this run. Nowhere to go with it. Side's got enough. Oh god, that guy! <laughs> that guy moved up there from the uh, apron. Oh god! Yeah, that was a close call. All right, I'm a back out. Just let him have it. I could have forced it. Could have killed us. Oh my god. This guy and me do not have good chemistry. Alright, we're clear all around. We're gonna take it. Just gotta wait for the hole to open up. Go with a run. Don't know where it's gonna happen though. Probably the extreme outside. Oh man, we went wheel to wheel. Haha! <laughs> so fun. Running out of laps now. I'm just gonna shoot the middle. Gotta go with the run. Alright, lots of spots there. Carry on to the extreme outside. How much does she got? It's gonna be tough without a car in front of me. I'm just gonna lose so much without the slipstream. Trying to get what little draft I can from that guy on the inside. It's just a little suck, thank you. We're holding our own out here. Oh, I got... We got hooked. I got pushed up. They're dead. <laughs> what the heck? I don't feel like I came down. There was lots of room. Okay, we're gonna have to look at that after. Let's take a deep breath and we will uh, go to the restart. All right, guys, it's coming down to it here. We are going to have a, uh, a makeshift green-white checkered here. So there's gonna be uh, two to go when we hit the line. And I don't think green-white checkers are actually in IndyCar. Um, I know they have green white checkers on iRacing, but I don't believe they're in IndyCar, so next caution will finish this thing. And uh, yeah, we are in an interesting spot here. Third, um, we possibly took some side pod damage from that impact uh, that, during that incident, but like without actually being able to see what happened, I don't really want to pit and give up track position, so I decided to stay out, hoping like with a limited amount of time the help of the slipstream that we'll just be able to keep up okay and uh yeah they're gonna <laughs> i know stefan's not gonna give up, up up easily he is a very competitive fast guy so this is gonna be very interesting here and uh hey what we talked about at the beginning of the race we want to be in with a shot with a couple laps left and we are there so just gotta uh just gotta be ready to make the move when it's available 
and uh, I'm not not gonna be cutting anybody any breaks this time. So here we go. Stefan's gonna try and play a bit of mind games here. Looks like he almost wants us to go past. I'm just gonna block the outside. I don't want anybody to pass me. All right, we're away. Go to the outside, he's gonna block me up the track. I had to go to the outside because it was before the line. Oh, they almost killed each other. Stefan with a wise move, he gets far, far ahead. Will we have enough time to catch him? We gotta get lined up. Oh, we're gonna catch him. Where's the move? Trying to lay back, but it's just going to bring people into it behind me. We're going to spread really wide out here so we get the white flag. I'm going to go to the top. Get a little bit of slipstream, and we're going all the way up. They're way out here. Can we get clear? We're not gonna quite get there. Oh man, there's gonna be a monumental run coming from behind. Everybody's gonna go for it. Pin down as much as we can. Who's gonna get there first? It's gonna be me. Yes, we got it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my goodness. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a finish. I thought there was going to be a massive run coming from behind, but nobody got there in the end. And we pick up the win here in IndyCar at Talladega. That's what I like to see. Whew. You guys know I'm a stock car guy. Just bin it in the wall. <laughs> well, that was a hell of a race. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for me. <sighs> I need to take a nap. I will see you in the next one. All right, so before we jump out today, we're just going to take a quick look at a couple of things here. First, that incident uh, that I thought maybe I was involved in. See, we're riding the outside here. Our right wheels are just about on that outside line. And the guy inside of me kind of runs up on me a little bit. And we are really lucky we didn't put it in the wall. And it ended up being the guys behind that actually junked it up. Uh, if we switch back here. Yeah, like that we were not involved in so that was a totally separate incident i thought the guy on the inside of me had killed him oh my god <laughs> that was absolute destruction and then uh let's go up to the finish here well how do we get a good look here maybe something like this okay. Take a look at that finish right there by five, ten thousandths, we get the win. <sighs> My gosh, what is it with IndyCar and these incredibly close finishes? <sighs> well, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to get out of your hair now. See you in the next one.